Hello, and welcome to the Networthy Podcast. My name is Brienne, also known as Being Brienne on Ravelry and Instagram, and welcome to the show. This is episode number 66, and I'm so happy that you're here. If you are a first-time viewer, I'd like to say hello. Welcome to you. So glad that you found the show. And if you are a returning viewer, I'm so glad that you came back. It makes me so happy. So, Oh my goodness. It's been three weeks since I recorded. Um, I would have recorded last week, but we caught the plague at our house. Um, I don't know if you guys have had it going around your area, but it has been bad in Branson. Um, I called in uh, Ailish sick one day last week and um, they said that it was their lowest attendance of the year the day before because they've had so many kids that have been sick with the plague. I don't know what it is. It's like upper respiratory slash GI slash fevers and not fun anything. Um, and Owen had it. Uh, all of us ended up getting it at one point. We were all sick, which is really not fun. I don't recommend it. Um, but Owen, when he went back to school, he only had like 10 kids in his science class, he said which is normally like a class of like 22 kids. So down to 10, which is just crazy. So stay healthy, people. Stay healthy. It's no fun being sick, especially this time of year with Christmas coming. Um, yeah. So let's get on with business, shall we? So today I'm wearing my Adama. This is uh, a beautiful, beautiful cowl by... Uh, somebody that I can't remember her name, I'll link it in the show notes, which will be at knitworthypodcast.com. So you can uh, find out who knit it. I'll rank, link to the Ravelry page uh, that I created for it. So let's see. Just to show you a little close up. Okay. Sorry about that. I got a phone call on my computer. <laughs> I'm very fancy and very in demand. Let me tell you. Okay. So here is what it looks like up close. It's gorgeous and I love it. And it is so warm. And the nice thing about it is, is that see in the back, it's kind of, it's not as deep as the front. And so it's very handy because you don't have all that bulk at the back of your neck, which is fantastic. But you you still have, you know, something around your neck to keep you warm. And it has been very cold. Not as cold as like North Dakota, which has been like negative 50 degrees. No. Uh, but this morning it was like 7 degrees. And I'm sending the kids out, you know, like to go catch the bus and I'm like be warm I love you let my love keep you warm as you travel to the bus luckily the bus just stop is like literally right in front of our house so it's not that far of a walk but I keep them inside until the bus actually like is rounding the corner um but yeah it's cold it's cold no fun so yes I've been wearing this wore this yesterday to church and uh, kept it on while I was uh, teaching my Sunday school class um, just because burr, <laughs> burr, it's cold. Yes, I am. Um, I'm a very, oh, I will talk about this later. Anyways, <laughs> I, I'm a selfish mama. Okay, so that's all I'm going to say about that. So what have I been knitting? Yay. Okay. The first thing that I'm knitting is in this little bag. You may have seen it before. It's by my beautiful friend Sherry, who is Sherry Knits on Ravelry and Instagram. This yarn is uh, Knit One Crochet Two Crocodile. This is one of my eight oldest skeins. So I'm still, this is the last skein in my eight oldest skeins that I wanted to knit this year. So I think I'm very pleased with how I did. Um, it, I, it was a challenge, but I did it, and I'm very pleased. Obviously, the project is not done, but that's okay. So, um, these are going to be the Mittens to Fit Alish, 
And the pattern is Mittens to Fit by Slavi Thompson. Uh, S-L-A-V-I-T-H-O-M-S-E-N. And um, these are some fingering weight mittens. They're very simple, but I think the yarn is so beautiful that I really just wanted the yarn to really sing and um, not have a lot of complicated anything going on to, um, you know, make the, what am I trying to say? To, uh, to make the, I don't know, I didn't want to muddle it up. I wanted just the, the yarn to be the beautiful thing, especially since my girl loves pink and how beautiful is this pink? It's gorgeous. So it's just a cuff right now. Um, these were going to be a Christmas present. It is Monday. Christmas is on Sunday. <laughs> it's not going to happen. I had started these, um, a couple weeks ago and I had to have a come to Jesus talk with myself <laughs> because I had all these Christmas things that needed to be finished and they were all in fingering weight yarn. Then I was like, what am I doing to myself? I need to knit things that are like in worsted weight yarn. I don't need to be knitting things in fingering weight yarn. I'm going to drive myself crazy. I'm going to be up until three o'clock in the morning, every single night trying to get things done. And nobody has time for that. I need sleep. It takes a lot of sleep to keep this beautiful people. It really does. It's yeah. <laughs> so anyways, I decided that this could wait for another time. She will still need mittens, another pair of mittens, uh, you know, in January, it'll be fine. And you know, no pressure. Christmas is hard enough without adding a lot of pressure, um, you know, on oneself. It's just not, don't do it. I, I don't recommend it. So anyways, the other thing that I'm working on is also a purchase. <laughs> um, in my beautiful chicken soup designs bag, um, I purchased, I have a brother-in-law. I have many brothers-in-law because my husband is the oldest of four boys, but this is my sister's husband, Spencer. He is a huge Star Wars fan. And I'm not talking like kind of enjoys the movies, you know, but like owns all the books you know, has like a huge Star Wars collection, owns all of the versions of the movies, like all the different sets and goes to see all the movies like on the day that they come out and knows Star Wars trivia like nobody's business. He's a huge Star Wars fan. So um, I saw, I didn't know what to do for him for his birthday. His birthday is actually New Year's Day. And so usually um, we kind of have this tradition of, of us doing some sort of Star Wars-y kind of thing for his birthday um, or for Christmas. And then, um, but this year I was having a difficult time trying to figure out what I wanted to do. And um, I found on um, Etsy, the perfect thing. And of course it's yarn. And, but I always make socks for Heather, but I figured that my wonderful brother-in-law Spencer, he also needs some socks. So I found from Haverland Yarns, the pack sock set called the droids you're looking for. Okay. So this represents R2D2. This represents BB-8. So you get one sock in one and one sock in the other. How perfect is that? Is that not such an adorable idea? Oh my gosh. So self sharpening yarn, obviously. Hello. It's in 3D coming at you. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> um, and so I was at, um, this came in the mail. I promptly got sick 
and so did not want to get my germs on his birthday present. So this has been sitting and waiting. And of course I'm mid row, but um, I had to take Ailish to the urgent care last night because she, you know, at five o'clock comes and tells me that she has an earache. And Ailish, all my kids, all my kids have very th high thresholds for pain tolerance. And so when Ailish tells you that she has an earache that's kind of hurting, you take her to the doctor. Like, you don't wait. Um, and it's so funny. I have to tell you the story. Um, so I... Um, take her to urgent care. We wait the millions of years that it takes because they're so busy because everybody's sick. And the nurse takes us back into the room and she's asking Ailish questions. And Ailish, um, Ailish is not officially diagnosed as having Asperger's, which is on the autism spectrum, but her teacher and her nurse practitioner both believe that she is on the spectrum and having a kid that is autistic and that's Owen, um, you know, we're just like, yeah, we know, <laughs> but she's so high functioning that really, I don't know if it would really do her much good to get officially diagnosed. Um, but we're kind of talking about it just because it might be good for her to, um, to have later. I don't know. We'll see. We're talking about it anyways. So she's reading the nurse asks her, you know, shows her the pain scale, you know, uh, all the different faces from this to this. And that's beautiful. I'm, I really hope that YouTube captures that as my image. Um, so anyways, so she asked her, you know, now what is your pain level? And Ailish is reading the, you know, descriptions and, you know, and paying very close attention to what the faces are doing and takes a good solid minute to decide it's between a two and a three, she says. And of course the nurse is looking at me like, why did you bring her? <laughs> If it's between the two and a three, why is she even here? And so, um, I'm like, I, 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 she just needs to come. So the nurse practitioner comes in, who is not a normal nurse practitioner, different nurse practitioner. She comes in and he's talking with Ailish. And again, it's kind of like, why are you here? You look just fine. You know, you're not hurting. And, you know, Ailish is talking, you know, in her high little voice, which is so adorable. And she's, you know, talking to the nurse about, you know, what's going on. And, and, uh, and so finally the nurse looks her over, looks in her ear, looks in the other ear and goes, Oh my, she goes, you're really hurting, aren't you? And Ailish goes, well, it's not bad, you know, but I'm like, yeah, that's why you bring her in when she says something hurts, you know, so it's just so, so funny. But while we were waiting, while we were waiting, I brought out and cast on for the sock. So here we have the beginning of the sock. And, um, I love Haverlund's yarn. It is, I've worked with it one other time. I do have other skeins. I think I have other skeins in my stash, in my stash. Um, but I love the sock yarn is so soft and, um, but it's superwash, merino and nylon. It's the Pax sock. Um, but it's just such a joy to work with. It's, she does such Carol, you do such a good job. I'm so proud of you for all of your amazing yarn dyeing skills. It's incredible. Um, and I know that my brother-in-law is going to love this. So yes, the droids you're looking for, I'm calling them my droid socks. And um, so yeah, so there's that. So those are the things that I'm working on. Only two things right now, but I have finished up several things. So I have been busy. It's been a busy, busy knitting time. I've been knitting my little fingers to the bow. All right. Oh, down here. Okay, so. Go down. There we go. Okay, what I finished. So when I um, said that I needed to knit more uh, worsted weight things, I decided to cast on the Kit Kat hat by Andrea Sue Knits. And, um, hold on. 
Um, so yes, The Kit Kat Hat by Andrea Sunitz. And let me pull that up. I did this in less than three days. And um, it's out of Swish Worsted, which was left over from my, uh, my cobblestone. No, that's the name, that's the name of the colorway. <laughs> Close. It's Cobblestone Heather. But I knit a, a sweater out of this a couple years ago, and I had some skeins left over, and I thought, oh, little gray hat with little ears. You see the little ears? For my Ailish who loves cats. And, oh my goodness, she is so in love with cats and knows everything about them. And every year we get her one of those 365 day little calendars with cats, you know, different pictures of cats and stories about cats and cat facts and stuff like that. And she looks forward to it every year. We've gotten, I think this year will be her fourth year of getting one. And she's nine. So, you know, she's been getting them for a long time. She loves them. It's one of the things that she looks forward to. So I would put this on, but then, you know, it's still just a little bit damp and it would ruin my hair. And we can't have that. So, um, yeah, here's this done. I've decided that all the knitwear is going to stockings this year because I can. Um, and also for Ailish, I finished up her socks. This is the Dancing Leaf Farm yarn in the Sock Hop Superwash Merino. And in the Briar Patch colorway, this was a gift from Margaret, who is Knit Witty 2. And look at how beautiful these socks are. They are so perfect. I had someone ask me um, on Instagram about what I knit my socks on. So I knit my socks on... Um, I prefer the Chugu Red Lace cable uh, circular needles, and I knit all my socks on those. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm so sorry. So um, I use a size zero, and so for example, I, I knit very tight on socks. So uh, these are a 64 stitch sock, and uh, and these will fit my nine-year-old daughter. She wears a size seven, I believe. Yes, a size woman seven. And so these will fit her. And um, so anyways, Margaret, thank you so much for this. These are my husband's socks. I also knit these on a size zero. Um, but I used a 72 stitch. Now, these are going to be just a little bit snug. Um, he's already tried them on, so I already know that they're going to be snug. I think in the future, what I will do is I will knit a 72 stitch sock on size ones. That's what I'm doing for my brother-in-law's socks is I'm using, um, a size one. I think that's what I'm going to do for Brian from now on too, just because, um, I'm knitting tighter on socks these days and I want him to be able to get them over his heel really easily. And this was just, it took some tugging and that's not fun. Now they will loosen up a little bit when I put them in the wash. I have not done that yet, but, uh, it'll be, it'll be fine. These are the vanilla is the new black. And here is the awesome heel that I love. It is so cozy and comfy and it just, the, it's, it just cups the heel so nicely because of that ribbing. It's really so awesome. I really recommend trying out this uh, Vanilla is the New Black sock pattern. It's very comprehensive, very easy to follow. And the heel itself is very simple once you get it. It took me a few minutes to finally like kind of get back into the rhythm of what I was doing, but it wasn't difficult at all. It just, you know, my brain was foggy. <laughs> And so it was like, what am I doing? And it had been um, a few weeks since I had uh, done the first sock. So it took a little bit. So, oh, and this is uh, Up and Yarn, Up and Yarn's Designs. And this is the Always colorway. Usually I put my things in here, but I did not save it. Um, but yes, 
and that is some beautiful sock yarn, which I love. And I, he has a matching hat and it's just black and gray and green and like a teal color. So beautiful. And, um, Brian's very excited to get, be getting more hand knit socks. Yay. Okay. Oh, I need to put this back in here. Don't lose that. Okay. So, um, are you kidding me? This is the segment where I talk about the things that make me go, are you kidding me? So, uh, two things. Um, the first thing is I'm a selfish mom. <laughs> so, uh, I'm not sure if you remember a few months ago, I finished up a Fair Isle hat, which was very beautiful. It was white and it had, um, gray and teal and it was snowflake design. And so anyways, hmm. Uh, Evan had claimed that for himself and I was very happy to give that to him. Uh, I was told him it was going to be for Christmas because that's just the way I do things. <laughs> even thinking about Christmas months ahead, even though I'm feverishly trying to finish up knits for Christmas, even now, a few days before Christmas. Um, but yeah, so I had told him that he could have this hat and, uh, so I put it away and in the meantime, I've knitted him uh, a couple of other hats. I knit him the green and black one, and I knit him some mittens, the hand spun mittens. And um, he has lost both of those things. So I was going through my gift box last night, and I pulled out another hat for him that's going to go into his stocking. That way he'll get some hand knit things too. But it came around to this hat, the, the Feral hat. It was my very first Feral project. And I was very excited about it and very proud of it because it turned out beautifully. And I was like, I can't do it. <laughs> I can't give this to him. He's just gonna, it's going to get lost. And it'll be gone forever. And I love this hat. And so I will knit him something else later. But I just can't bear to give him my first feral hat that turned out so beautifully and that I worked so hard on. So, um, yeah, so I'm a selfish mama and I'm keeping the hat. I wore it to church yesterday because, again, very, very cold. And, um, and I got lots of compliments on it. <laughs> I was like, thank you. I made it. I was, you know, not very humble at all. Unfortunately, I should have been like, thank you. And then just let it go. But no, I was like, thank you. I made it. <laughs> I couldn't help it. I was so excited. So selfish. But I was talking with Brian about it and he was like, honey, he goes, you have made him so many things. And because I, I was lamenting the fact that I didn't have more hand knit things for him. I've got like two things for Owen and two things for Ailish and I've got one thing for him and I'm like, I just, I need, I want to knit him like a pair of like worsted weight socks or something or, you know, something like, you know, worsted weight mittens or, you know, something kind of heavier that, you know, will go quickly. And Brian's like, no, just let it go, honey. Just let it go. It's fine. And then I was telling him how I feel bad about, you know, I, how I took the hat from him. And he was like, he won't care. He, he didn't even notice that it was your hat that you had taken from him and that, you know, that he had claimed for himself and that he didn't even remember. And so it's okay. So I was like, thank you. He helps keep me sane, my husband. Oh my goodness. Okay. So that's it for that. Oh, oh, and the other, are you kidding me, is because of being sick, I lost a whole week worth of knitting because I was sick and taking care of other people and just really, I mean, that's how you can tell when I'm sick is that if I'm like really super sick, I don't knit. And it was like a solid week of no knitting just because I would get up and throw a load of laundry in the, on the sanitized cycle and go and lay down. <laughs> And then get up and, you know, eat a half a pizza's toast and then go lay down. And, you know, get up and check everybody's temperatures and do that medicine and then go lay down. Like, it was just, that was for days. That's the way it was just because I, I the fatigue was intense. It was pretty bad. And everybody was feeling it. And it, everybody was sick. And 
Brian stayed home from work one day. He was actually sent home and he never does that. Brian never stays home from work and is especially to be sent home. You know, they were just like, go, please take your chirps home. <laughs> we don't want them. And, uh, so yeah, so I finally picked up my needles again and, you know, plowed through Brian's socks and it felt good to get those off the needles finally. Cause they've been on the needle since like September, which is just ridiculous. That's too long. So that's that gilding the lily. Okay. So, um, before we came down with the play, uh, we, it was actually like the day before anybody first started showing symptoms, uh, Brian had the day off of work and, uh, the kids were in school and, um, Brian had some errands to run in Springfield. And so we drove up together and we did his errands and we had a little bit of time before we needed to get back home. And he goes, is there a new yarn store? And I was like, yes, there is. And he was like, let's go. <sighs> How much do I love him? I love him so much. He thinks of me and he thinks of going to yarn stores. It was awesome. So we went to the Village Yarnery, which is in Chesterfield Village, for those of you who are in the area, um, Springfield, Missouri area. Um, so we went. It's a very small yarn store, but very nicely kind of packed. And she's got great uh, selection and a variety of things. She has an indie dyed section, which is great. And um, lots of different types of things to do. Uh, she even has a little bit of embroidery area, uh, and she has wool for spinning and, uh, she's a crocheter originally, but she's learning how to knit. So, um, you know, it's kind of nice to have, you know, someone who has different interests, um, kind of a different focus. <coughs> Excuse me. So, um, I found this for Brian. This is Cascade Yard Heritage Prints. Isn't that gorgeous? And I don't know if you can see the way that it's going to knit up. See that right there? Brian saw this and he was like, oh, I like this one. It was that, doing that in like a green kind of camouflage looking one, which he picked out this one. It looked, I think it would match me very nicely today, don't you think? Mm -hmm. I almost got one for myself so we could be all matchy matchy. That would have been cute. And then the other thing that I bought is this Plymouth Yarn Happy Feet 100 Splash, which is a beautiful speckled yarn by Plymouth. And it has, uh, I'll tell you, it has a brown and like a raspberry color and, um, Teal, which, you know, of course, I love teal. Can you can you tell by my outfit today? My favorite colors. Um, so, yeah. So, I haven't seen this before. I've worked with Happy Feet before, but not, um, not in this particular type uh, with the speckled yarns. I don't have much in the way of speckled yarns in my, in my stash. Oh, this is the Tuscan Spice colorway. It's colorway 107. So, there you go. And the last thing that I bought there is I bought some buttons. She has these beautiful, a beautiful bowl of wooden buttons that are done from a local person. And I found this beautiful tree, which I thought would look beautiful in my gnarled oak cardigan. Yes, yes. Um... I'm going to have to rework some of the button hole placement just because of the fact that I only have six of those buttons. I took all of the ones that she had. It was Brian and me and the store owner like searching through this whole bowl of buttons. I got all of them. There were six. Um, so I'm going to have to uh, kind of rework that because I did add some length. And the pattern does call for six buttons, but I added um, a good probably two or three inches to the length of my cardigan. So... Yeah, it could be a little bit interesting. And then I found for some future to be announced sweater, I found these beautiful buttons.
which I think are gorgeous. Kind of, I can't decide if it's like a sun or if it's like hearts or a flower or I can think it's kind of like a Rorschach test where it could be anything that you want it to be. It's kind of like an insight into your brain as to what you think it is. And I have eight of those buttons. So, yay. Okay, last thing is uh, I have a skein of this beautiful yarn. This is Scarlet Fleece uh, called You Silky Thing. And this is 50% silk and 50% merino wool in the pink chocolate colorway, 200 yards of sport weight. And, <coughs> excuse me, I'm so sorry. Um, so this I'm going to be doing in a contest called the We Want More contest, okay? So we're trying to, uh, mom, who is not with me today, um, she is handling grandma things. So um, she's that's where she is today at the bank doing not fun things. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but anyways, um, we want to know what you would like to see more of on the podcast. So, uh, would you like to see a seg different segments? Would you like to see a new segment or an older segment that we used to do come back? Would you like to see more techniques? What would you like to see more of? <coughs> Excuse me. So, um, that's the way the contest is. So we want, I'm going to open up a thread on Ravelry called the, we want more contest thread. And I want to hear what you would like to see more of so that you can win this beautiful skein of pink chocolate yarn. Isn't that gorgeous? Um, so uh, give me your ideas. I would love to hear what your ideas are. Okay. Um, rules are, uh, I don't really have very many rules. Um, this thread will be open to chatter that is related to the things that you're seeing. Like if you see somebody who, uh, has a great idea, you can go, yes, I like that too. Um, or, uh, you can put many ideas in. Um, so we're not limiting you to one, to one post, um, if that makes sense. And then, um, the winner will be chosen by random number generator on January 31st of 2017, 2017. So weird. Okay. And you just have to be a member of the Ravelry group to win. So here you go. Take a look win this. You want it. It's gorgeous. It's so soft and it's got a beautiful shine to it. I don't know if you can see in the light. It's just, it's so shiny and gorgeous and beautiful because that silk. You'll enjoy it. So that is it. want to wish you a very, very Merry Christmas and a very Happy New Year. And I will see you in a couple of weeks. And I'm so excited for the things that 2017 has to bring us who knows what adventures we will go on together. I have an idea for a segment, um, that I want to, uh, do, um, coming up or uh, just like a, maybe a one-time thing, but, um, it's going to be fun. So, um, you have ideas running through my head and, uh, it's just going to be awesome. 2017, I think is going to be a good year. 2016 was really hard, but 2017, I think is going to be really good. And so can't wait to see what, what is coming our way. So until then, until 2017, just remember that you are knitworthy. Bye friends.